Welcome back to Fast Market here on the Schwab Network. It's time for our cash tag segment. For that, let's bring in our next guest. That's going to be Andy Swan. He's a co-founder at Likefolio. Happy Friday, Andy. Yeah, happy Friday. All right. So we're talking PayPal today. This seen quite a resurgence in this stock over the last several months here. Uh, it had been in a downtrend for years. You look at a one-year chart, it looks really good. You look at a three-year chart, not so good here. But what kind of data? Do, do you have anything turning around on data for PayPal? Because it seems like, uh, you know, investors are getting back on board uh, with this stock. Yeah, you know, I think PayPal's back. And I never thought that I would say that. Um, you know, this is something that you think about PayPal, you kind of harken back to the early days of the Internet with eBay and, you know, all those transformative technologies that seem to have gone away. But uh, PayPal seems to have really reinvigorated itself from both a technology perspective, a, a features perspective, and also, I think, even more critically, it's partnerships that it's put in place. Um, they, they just launched a new pool money feature. Uh, where users can pool their money together to buy something or to uh, or, or to um, yeah purchase something, and it's kind of like a GoFundMe but for smaller kind of everyday stuff like going to a concert together, you know, or, or even buying a pizza. And so I think that's a a really cool feature that that will bring in a lot of users. It kind of uh, adds to that you know positive feedback loop loop that virality uh, that PayPal and Venmo and all these uh, used to have. And so I think that's really cool, but mostly it's indicative of the fact that PayPal is not just sitting back and watching Cash App uh, run laps around it anymore. They're back in the game and they're innovating. And I think that those innovations, including, um, you know, starting to uh, allow advertisers to uh, infiltrate its platform, I think that's a really, really key and, and good idea because you know, it's really great to advertise right where people are spending money, right where they have access to the money that they're going to spend. And also the integration with Apple Pay, I think is a really big uh, a, a big move in PayPal's favor. Um, and you can see it changing web visits, beating everybody on the block uh, on a year over year basis. Users are moving back to the PayPal platform. Again, something I didn't think I'd say, yeah. but here we are. And this is a company I think that is on the rise and has a lot of open sky in front of it. Yeah, Andy, the growth in active accounts was the first time in six quarters that they had grown active accounts. Their free cash flow went up by 35% quarter over quarter growth. You're right, Andy. Is this, is it, do you think this is the new CEO who's changing this? Because something clicked, something triggered. Is it up? more concentration or more focus on Venmo? Because that seems to be the most, po that, that's, a, that's the part of PayPal that I use the most, is Venmo. What do you think it is that's triggering this? Because if you, you know, you put up the one-year chart and it looks like it's going a long way. You put up the three-year weekly chart and you realize <laughs> this stock has a lot of, 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 of uh, upside still in it. Yeah, you know, I, I think your point about the new CEO, new leadership, just new ideas invigorating the company is clearly true. You know, they called this a transition year, and here we are at the end of the year. And if you look at back at what they've accomplished in terms of feature sets and partnerships, you know, you have to call it a home run in terms of a, a transition year. And I think it does start at the top. I think the executive team is doing a phenomenal job. Uh, and, you know, our data supports the fact that PayPal is outperforming peers for the first time in a long time. And a lot of that has to do with the excellent execution of a really pretty bold strategic plan by the leadership team that is in place now. And so uh, we like when we see that as investors and as analysts, when, uh, you know, new blood comes into the top of an organization and you see incredible uh, traction right away that's usually a very bullish sign for the next three to five years. Uh, yeah, on their earnings that they had on the 29th, Andy, they beat on uh, EPS, they beat on top line or uh, met on uh, rev top line revenue, uh, total payment volume up 9%. Alex Chris, the new CEO, uh, he's been uh, in there for one year. He's trying to make all their different platforms more like Venmo and the competition. You know, you look at Square or Block, whatever you want to call it, 
uh, they're kind of falling off a little bit, maybe getting a lift from the Bitcoin trade at this point. But, you know, when you have a CEO in there, is that matter this much where, hey, competitors aren't doing that great? This is an actual area that finally maybe starts to turn around for growth. And do you see this actually extending gains? Because we've had a good bounce off of those lows that we saw just a few months ago. Yeah, you know, I think it starts at the top. Um, you know, an expanded partnership with Shopify, who just, you know, absolutely blew out earnings and is, is showing the, the power of, you know, the digital spin, digital shopping, and PayPal being a preferred digital wallet. So that partnership is, you know, set to, to produce extreme gains. And, you know, this integration with, with Apple Pay, I just think, you know, now more than ever, these companies are more likely to take the call from PayPal because they're coming with fresh ideas that are bringing their customers as well as their partner's customers value. And I think that's the new page in the PayPal book that Wall Street is finally catching up to. All right, great stuff, great data as always, Andy. Appreciate it, have a great weekend. You too, thank you. All right, that's Andy Swan, co-founder at Likefolio, breaking down PayPal. I mean, you know, Kevin, I remember us talking about this two, three quarters ago.